Origins of Father's Day The campaign to celebrate the nation's fathers did not meet with the same enthusiasm perhaps, because, as one florist explained, fathers haven't the same sentimental appeal that mothers have. On July 5, 1908, a West Virginia church sponsored the nation's first event explicitly in honor of fathers, a Sunday sermon in memory of the 362 men who had died in the previous December's explosions at the Fairmont Coal Company mines in Monaga, but it was a one-time commemoration and not an annual holiday. The next year, a Spokane, Washington, woman named Sonora Smart God, one of six children raised by a widower, tried to establish an official equivalent to Mother's Day for male parents. She went to local churches, the YMCA, shopkeepers and government officials to drum up support for her idea, and she was successful. Washington State cele celebrated the nation's first statewide Father's Day on June 19, 1910. Slowly, the holiday spread. In 1916, President Wilson honored the day by using telegraph signals to unfurl a flag in Spokane when he pressed a button in Washington, D.C. In 1924, President Calvin Coolidge urged state governments to observe Father's Day. Credit for originating the holiday is generally given to Sonora Smart Dot of Spokane, Washington, whose father, a Civil War veteran, raised her and her five siblings after their mother died in childbirth. She is said to have had the idea in 1909 while listening to a sermon on Mother's Day underscore, which at the time was becoming established as a holiday. And the first Father's Day was celebrated on June 19, 1910 the month of the birthday of Dodd's father. In 1924 U.S. President Calvin Coolidge gave his support to the observance, and in 1966 President Lyndon B. Johnson issued a proclamation that recognized the day. It became a national holiday in 1972, when President Richard Nixon signed legislation guidings the third Sunday of June as Father's Day.